Cherie is the senior and Solon is the puppy, so it's an interesting dynamic. He, you know, he wants to know about everything that's going on. He sticks his business in where it shouldn't be. They've been playing beautifully this morning. You know, he's almost like a little brother. He wants to know what's going on. For the most part, he obeys her, and, and you know, if it's a good dynamic. Living in downtown Los Angeles, when the dogs need to go outside, it's not like I could open up a back door, the backyard, and they could just go roam in the grass. It's kind of an ordeal. I have to put the leashes on and take them for a walk. That's therapeutic for me because not only am I focusing my energy on walking them together, which is a ordeal in itself sometimes, um, but the city is around me and there's so much going on that it, I mean, my problems really don't matter. You know, after a bad day, that is a great way to end, end the day because they are, you know, they're my buddies. Terry Jack Russell and Cherie, and she is now almost 14. She's been in my life for so long. She's my queen bee. Cherie makes me laugh every day. Her facial expressions are just hilarious, the way she looks at other dogs. You know, it's almost like she owns the city, so it's pretty funny. She is her own dog. She's very independent. She does what she wants. Jack Russells are kind of known to be stubborn, so she definitely has that in her. She calls the shots. Like, when she wants to play, she wants to play. When it's time to go for a walk and she does a little wiggle, jump up, that's hilarious. Because she's a little heftier, I think it makes it a little more funny because it's just like this little warthog looking thing kind of jumping up in the air. Solon, you know, he's a new family addition, but he's fitting right in. Since he's all puppy, he is uh, extremely energetic, very curious. Everything's new to him, so he doesn't understand, and especially being in the city, there's a lot of different noises and, and things going on, so just like his reactions to everything is just like, it's, it's hilarious. It's like watching a kid that's never been in, you know, a city just kind of freak out, but in a cute and daring way. I've never had a puppy before, so it's interesting to raise a dog and raise a puppy. Solon's going through a little teething stage right now. He likes all games, you know, he likes toys, he likes tag, he likes um, hide and seek. Um, Shree likes hide and seek too, we hide the treats and she kind of chases after them. like running around, kind of looking in the most obscure places. Cherie loves going to the park. She loves going there, she loves exploring. It's grass, so she just kind of has a heyday. You know, she rolls around in it, she meets new dogs and um, she loves it. They both love being outside. I love taking them to the dog park. Um, it's extremely important to socialize them.
century older, but she she still needs to be reminded that she's not the only dog. Um, there are other dogs in this world, and uh, it's important for her to get along with them. Um, same for Solon, since he's so young, he needs to socialize. I love talking to people. I love talking to people and their dogs on the streets, and I love when people talk to me about my dogs. One of my favorite things is going outside. You're just like you're with the dog and you're playing with the dog and nothing else really matters. So it's definitely uplifting and it's um, therapy. When you live in a city, it could be, you know, LA is a huge place and sometimes you could get lonely and they are, you know, they're there for you. They are there to, to walk with me, they're there to go places with me. They're city dogs, but they're also, you know, my best buds.